Hello everyone and welcome back to the Banya tribe. Here in a niche version 0 0.5.0, which I have affectionately nicknamed the hybrid test update. And just a quick reminder, this is a test update. So if you see certain things that seem a little bit odd, for instance, the fangs on our wonderful Adam, also known as Papa Banya here, but um, not being the right color, they're not white right now. They actually match the color of his texture. Keep in mind, this is a very very experimental test update branch where we're supposed to point things like that out nicely to the devs over in the Steam discussion pages and they will be able to tackle it. But I have to say I'm really excited. Oh look, look and I think Mama is finally displaying her patterning properly. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. And you may notice that she actually has the claws the same color as her body texture, her body pattern right now. But I'm sure that they're going to fix those things when the official branch update releases. Right now, we're on the hunt for bugs and for Benya. Beria? Beria. I think I'm finally figuring out how to say it properly. So it's like bear and hyena mixed together, but without the H in hyena. Thank you guys so much for telling me that. And I'm going to do my best. I do have the, my little speaking quirk, so it may take me a little bit to get it like down properly. But the Bernya bears is what I have nicknamed this tribe. And I really, really cannot wait until we can add in some of the hybrids. Mama, I believe, um, is is definitely descended from that line. She remembers having those big Baranya creatures as part of her tribe and part of her family. And she's much, much, much more aggressive than a lot of the other nichelings that she's run into. I imagine Papa actually has a very like laid back lifestyle, but there's just something about him that attracted Mama to him. And that's why they ended up becoming mates. But I also have been thinking about how we are going to use the new traits so we can do this new new mutation trait assignment per creature and it hit me we probably want to use at least one of those slots of course to be able to improve our genetic line for our tribe so that they'll be able to be safer and stronger in the future and adapt a little bit more in a directed manner for whatever island that they are on but it might be fun to use one of those slots in order to have a certain specific trait of our creatures passed on now we don't have all of the slots opened, but it occurred to me that it would be really fun with Mama if we had had the ability open because her um, her entire sort of personality is geared up around her claws and being a little bit more aggressive. It would have been fun if I could have assigned one of her two permanent mutation traits that she can pass on to her offspring as uh, maybe maybe something a little more aggressive like her claws or some like she would definitely probably pass claws on, but because she has like two claws. Well, I say that, do all of their children have claws? They do, but I don't know, like what if she could have ended up with a double claw child by having claw be 50% down there and also having claw be one of the two paws that she could pa possibly, possibly, you get it, uh -huh, pass on to her kids. But I like that idea actually. And moving forward in the future, once we have unlocked more of the mutation abilities, or even now, it'd be kind of nice if we could pick, hey, maybe Godzo is really known for the type of patterning he has. So he's really, really, known for maybe having um, the pattern C shape. So what if we came in and we assigned him the pattern C shape as one of his two traits? And I kind of like that idea because then it sort of, I hope, will stack the possibility of passing that trait down. But if it turns out to be too redundant, then we'll throw that out and we'll do something else. But it just seemed like a fun way where we could try to like influence the children to more directly have a trait of their parent, even if that trait like patterns doesn't really help with adaptation to the environment. The other trait we would of course assign to be adaptation to the environment, but we'll worry about that when we actually start breeding the children. Right now, Mama and Papa are still young enough that they can have a couple more children if we so choose, and the Baranya tribe is uh, tackling this tiny island, and I've got to figure out, are we going to go this direction? or this direction to the new islands? It appears they just have uh, the peaceful pick of either spot ahead of them, so it's not going to be something where we have to worry about, like, should we go the dangerous route or the brave, like, the, the really nice route? Also, how many creatures can you take? One, two, three, four. Just how many of these ports are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Can you really take twenty creatures? That's new. 
That's a lot of creatures. We're gonna have to think about that. All right, let's get moving. We're gonna have everybody gathering up what food resources they can. I do believe Jock is very, very pleased to be able to uh, take care of his tree. And thank you guys for letting me know if you look really closely, and I didn't notice last time, and it's still, like, when you look at him down here, it's almost impossible to tell. But he does, right next to his eye, have a darker red spot. So thank you guys for letting me know that Jock does have spots. Where'd he go? Jock, come here. All right, so Jock does, if you look really closely, have just the faintest red spots around his body. And it occurs to me he may have just like the pattern B shape. Maybe that's what it is. Why I can't really see that is just like a couple little, couple little red indents here and there. It would be fun just to have it a little bit more saturated so we could tell the difference between the two. A little bit more of a contrast. But I really, I really like that you can actually have the same color spots on top of uh, the same color coat. And it does look a little different. All right, so anyway, Jock. Oh, look at all of this. I think Jock is very excited. Like he is a tree lover, for instance, and he loves gathering these nuts. He thinks it's very exciting to just go in circles around the tree and gather all the nuts. So I could see Jock ending up with the cracker jaw trait if we had that to pass down. He has cracker jaw. He loves eating the nuts. So I would love to use one of those two traits as a way to, like I said, pass on a trait of the parent that may not be super useful, but will give them a better chance of having kids who are, are like their distinctive personality trait. All right, well, all of that said, I think that we're gonna have little brother Eco go ahead and jump on over here and gather up some nuts with his brother. And then we'll have Kaylee gather up these berries. I think she and her sister, Adelili, uh, spend a lot of time just nibbling on berries and kind of laughing about the fact that Mama is so disgruntled that her daughters have not followed her, followed her to like fierce battle against the bunnies. I, I think that maybe, especially Adelili, might be willing to be more aggressive, but how are you really gonna get that excited about being more aggressive against the bunnies? So I think that's why they're they're not really as excited as mama is about all this hunting. <gasps> but there's some bunnies. There's some bunnies and if we get out of the way, there's a good chance, where's those bunnies? And mama is very excited about the chance to get those bunnies. All right, and so let's see if we can get, can any of the others get down here in time? <gasps> Papa, Papa, wait, Papa, are you in the water? Uh-oh. Mama, Papa, that's a little bit much. Uh, cool down. They're cooled down while in water. And we got the bunny. And Mama, like, Papa is very eager to, like, follow Mama. He has a much more subdued personality. But he, he's trying to help out with the bunny hunt. Uh, and we'll go ahead, step this way. And I think Godzo will just be like, what are you guys doing? And following them. And little Chansu is going to follow his big brother. Like, help! <laughs> you guys are leaving me at the nest. We don't have to worry about that here. But th that could be very dangerous. All right. We'll go ahead and continue to clear away some of the grasses. I think the sisters are going to need to think about... What the heck, a doodle? Mama? Papa? <gasps> Mama just died for no reason? Did she drown? <gasps> Papa! Oh, I think he'd be so sad about this. I mean, we, I thought we still had some time with her and the next thing you know, like, oh my goodness, I don't know how to feel about that. I am really conflicted. Also, you can gather up seaweed now to make nests out of. That's very exciting. All right, I think Papa's gonna jump up here. It's so dark. I might need to say, I might need to mention that it's a little bit too dark. I don't know. The brightness of the grass actually helps to balance that out, but still, oh my gosh. Yeah, I think that Papa has to come and report that Mama slipped into the water and got carried away. The whole family is going to be so sad. That is so sad. <gasps> Chansu, I'm so sorry. And they're all just in, in shock, I bet. Poor, poor Papa. I'm sorry, Papa. I really am. At least this is a good excuse to possibly move on to the next island, though. And I think that Kedili, uh, Adalili... And Kay Lili, uh, that almost sounds like my middle name, oh my gosh. <laughs> Very Hawaiian-esque. But I think that we'll probably move them all towards this direction. Um, just because why not? We've already cleared out that section. We'll gather up a few more of the nuts really quickly. Just to see what might show up. Let's see. And we'll gather from that bush. 
And how many things have we... Yeah, we've only performed Crack 15 times, and I think that Jock would be a little bit annoyed to have to leave his bush. And Jock and Kalili can actually be good mates. But it's probably important to get a move on to a bigger island in case we run into any rogues that could possibly be better mates for everybody that we've got. So... Oh, the sun has come out again. Sorry, everybody. Oh, dear. Oh, and look at the lovely ladies. Oh, look at these spots. <gasps> I think that the, the pattern has received some sort of update because, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look at them. They're so beautiful. Kalili, I love your spots. Alalili, I love her spots too. And I think they have enough... Yeah, they've got enough brothers that if push comes to shove, we can have them mate with their brothers. I don't want them to have to, though. So that means it is time to move on to the next island. Papa has two days left, so we could probably make it over here. Let's try. All right, so Papa jumped all the way over here. And then can I get Jock over there? I can get Jock over here. Can I get Eco? I can get Eco over there. I can get Kalili over there. I can get, oh, come on, baby. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Look at that, Papa's uh, big runner's legs. Oh, actually, Chansu, <gasps> Chansu? Wait, Chansu, what? Okay, claw, oh, oh, runner's leg looks different now. I thought he had doubled up claw and I was so confused. But it turns out Papa's jeans have proven super useful with all of these runner's legs so that we can manage to get everybody from one side of the world to the other really quickly. So there we go. We just got the whole family lined up on the flower plot without any problems. Man, that's so much easier than my other tribes where it takes us like five days to be able to get them over. And let's go ahead and have Tiki uh, get everybody moving. I think everybody is safely on the flower plots. Yeah, migrate to another island outside the port. All right, they should be able to do that, but I think that Papa would insist that we go ahead and we move on after the loss of Mama. He's just too sad, and I think that the girls would agree that it's important to move on. <gasps> Ooh, the music changes depending on what island you're on, <gasps> and there's lots of trees on this island. Look, so how do you know which one of the ports is like the right size? Is it just like these ones are the flower ports? Wow. I love how you have different music on each spot now. And that one looks peaceful too. So far we just have a lot of options for peaceful ports. Huh. And a lot of beaches. I like how the islands are, are so random lately. All right, so Papa has led his children to a whole new land. There's a, there's a really cute little berry bush right up here too. Oh my goodness, and there's all this new music. It's so exciting. All right, and then Kalili and Adalili, I feel like they would come over to, to support Papa. He doesn't have much longer for this world, unfortunately. Uh, but they're here at this new land, having followed their father and in the memory of their mother. And let's take a quick look around just to see. Looks like there's some different kinds of savanna grass tiles. This is really cool how you just have these really tall, random spots where it's like a cliffside has been ebbed away by the water. That's so fun. I see a lot of rivers and streams. Oh, it's so dark over here. I can hardly see. And then I see one, two, three, four trees. A lot of spots where there's rocks down in the water. Interesting, interesting. It'd be nice if there's like barnacles or stuff that collects on the rocks that you could occasionally harvest off of. Um, let's see. Well, at least if you had like the cracking ability. All right, another peaceful island. We're, we're really, 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 really peaceful so far, it seems. Just, I, I wonder which path we would take. Huh. Well, let's go ahead and explore this a little bit. Maybe the poison berries are back. We had poison berries in the epigenics update, and I would love to see those again, especially if you could still eat them. Say, if you had toxic body, that would make a lot of sense to me that, that you could eat the poison berries with toxic body. All right, so we're gonna try to get under the tree. <gasps> what? Look, there's fish. There's like floating air fish. <laughs> this is so interesting. Look at these floating air fish. We have floating air fish right there. Papa, can you get them? <laughs> oh my goodness. I think that Kalili can actually get them though. Uh, let's swap her and Papa out. So we're going to scooch Papa uh, over here. And then Kalili has some attack. Look at that. 
She just snagged the fish are in the shallows over here. I think that would make her sister and her so excited. And the Ray's Arena. Uh, and we have the algae, Alga, which we can use to collect nesting material. But I think that these two sisters would be so excited by all of the fish. I think they're just enchanted by it. <gasps> Maybe we'll have a return a little bit of the Dolly tribe. Dun, 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 dun. See, and that would have been something where we could have set the mutation menu for the Dolis to be the red antlers that would pass on from the creatures with red antlers, which already would have possibly happened, but then we would maybe, and I'm going to have to experiment with this, but maybe that would have stacked the, uh, the chance of it happening. So who knows? We'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, I think the girls are very happily distracted with trying to collect up a whole bunch of the, um, the fish for the first time. And Papa is very happy because they found some nice berry bushes and he's just an easygoing berry bush kind of guy. And Jock is going to be very happy because they just found a tree. Unfortunately, it has a rock next to it, which takes up one of the spots that could have nuts. And I think little Chansu is just kind of like unsure of what's going on. Chansu and Iko are, are just kind of wandering over by their dad. And Gadzu will come over and he'll help us eat these berries real quick. All right, so I think that Papa feels good. He has brought his children to a new land. It already is full of food. That's why he's so happy they found the berry bushes. And now he can leave his children to hopefully find mates of their own and establish a happy life here. And we're gonna have to start breeding up our only females pretty soon if we wanna pass like the tribe's legacy onward and not just suddenly die. But I wanted to give them a chance to try to find mates who aren't immediately related to them. And there's plenty and plenty of thick grasses to uh, to kind of start pushing through and searching towards. Man, that's kind of enchanting and relaxing to watch, isn't it? I wonder if it would be fun if the grass was like different colors, or, or not different colors, they're already different colors, but like different heights here and there. Huh. It's actually kind of fun to imagine yourself like a little jungle adventure pushing through the thick grass. Oh, and Papa! Papa just passed away. What the heck? Look at this. And now right here at this algae point, we've got a shell and we've also got a gold leech. That's what they're called. <gasps> yeah, I think Kalili is very enchanted with this spot and doesn't want to move. And Adalili is trying very hard. She got it. She got the Razorina! She managed to catch that big fish. And then over here, I feel like Jock, as one of the eldest, well, he'll gather up some material and just kind of like honor his father. And Iko, we'll send Iko up. He's always been a little bit more adventurous. And I think Chansu will hang out with his brother Iko and just see, aha, there's another. Look at the cliffside, that's so pretty. I like the new dirt texture there a lot. Uh, but we'll send him up. I feel like Chansu has no idea what's going on half the time, so he just follows his older brother Iko around. And then Gadzo, I feel like Gadzo might be uh, thinking a little bit about possibly having some children. And he too has home island immunity, whatever that's gonna mean. Uh, it hasn't affected anything so far, nobody's become sick just yet. But I think he's gonna be eyeing up lovely- Ah, oh, dang it, they actually have home island immunity together. All right, and Tiki, I don't want to pass on your webbed hind legs, or maybe I do here? Actually, I wonder if Tiki would find that kind of something attractive in her brother. He does have the ability to fish, and he does have the ability to swim by having his hind legs that are webbed, so webbed hind legs perform swim. Huh. I'm gonna get Tiki in the water, and then, oh, is that a fish? <gasps> oh, it's a Razorina. Is it gonna attack me? Oh my gosh. Look at how full of life the water is. This is so much nicer with the water just like overflowing with all of these creatures. All right, well, Godzo, uh, which one of your sisters would you be trying to enchant? No, hey, 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 I'm trying to study up Godzo, not actually make that happen. I wonder, I think that he might be able to flirt with Adalili, but I think Adalili, yeah, Adalili and Tiki unfortunately share bee immunity, but it may be kind of tricky. So Gonzo, we'll have him collect these berries for now and maybe look for a mate. There, he might just go try to find a mate in the forest before turning to his sisters. And meanwhile, Kalili and Tiki could actually have a child, but I don't know if I want to pass on his webbed legs. And then 
And then I really like Jock. I feel like Jock and Kalili might make a good pair. Uh, Kalili has been distracted by this little area because look, it's so full of life. That is so cool for now. But I think that Jock being reliable and gathering up so much food from the tree may be the mate that she would pick if she very soon here has to find a mate. Look at the Razorina chase the fish. Oh my gosh. Look at that. All right. Yeah, I think Tiki. No, Tiki, don't drown. Dang it, I was ha I made Tiki stay in the water too long. All right, I think Tiki would definitely swim through and hopefully earn us those webbed hind legs, which maybe one day I will want. I haven't done uh, a, fish a fishing creature for a long, long time. And I think Adelili is very thrilled. Can she dig up anything? Oh no, she has a leech. All right, her sister will definitely help her out with that. Kalili really loves her sister. They're, they're like a sister pair for sure. And then Iko. Iko's kind of like our, our bristly, prickly, eager explorer. And Chansu just wants to live up to his big brother's expectations. So he'll help out with that. And then let's see, Jock. Ooh, Jock, you found a little wolf spot. And then Godzo. Godzo is going to be looking for a mate. So we might send him out to really search up along the edge of the island over here. All right, I think we've settled in pretty well. I'm very happy with where everybody is at right now. Now I think it's time for the sisters to start thinking about who they would take on as a possible mate. Also time to gather up that fish. Don't mind if I do. Good job, Tiki. Good job. And I wonder if trying to dig up anything on the seafloor is going to help us get the platypus bill. So that sounds like something Tiki would work on. And that actually, I like the idea of then we keep an eye on our creatures and what their behaviors are. Jock and his, his like cracking of the nuts and maybe Tiki and his swimming. And also the fact that he perhaps really enjoys being able to um, try to eat from whatever is found in the ground. So can he get the Baronia snow antlers, the Baronia, Baronia, Baronia. I'll get it eventually. Don't worry. So like he might be able to unlock gills or do the water dig and get platypus speak. And if he already had those abilities, it, well, if we already had those, like those might be things he might pass on to his kids because he'd be trying to dig around the place, which is not exactly how genetics works. You cannot change your genes based on what you wish your children could have, even though that would be really, really useful for a lot of people. Oh no, there's, there's leeches everywhere. Both the girls are covered in leeches. All right, we'll deal with all of these gold leeches in just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll continue playing with this. This is interesting. Hopefully we'll be able to start finding some mates next time too. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.